So one of the verticals that we focus on uh, is um, built environment. And this vertical primarily looks at uh, passive heating and cooling systems, uh, which then complement and merge with the active cooling systems. Uh, this is extremely critical because given around the world the kind of heat stress that we're facing and the kind of heat stresses that we're facing right now, in fact, um, drought prone areas, extreme um, heat waves that are faced in many parts of the world, uh, access to cooling becomes extremely critical, especially when it comes to healthcare provision. Uh, most of the healthcare provision, be it primary or secondary, without cooling, not, not only patient welfare and staff welfare, but also some of the services get severely hampered if you don't have cooling in place. And in areas which are underserved, uh, which are you know, very difficult to reach, uh, passive cooling can play a very crucial role in bringing down the cost of overall cooling systems. Um, so Selco basically works with a network of government partners, private partners to design and deploy these um, passive and active cooling systems for heat stress areas in health centers um, across a few states right now. जैसे हमारे hospital वगैरह में जैसे wards हैं, delivery ward वगैरह हैं, laboratory है, इनमें AC AC वगैरह लग रहे हैं और ये काफी आवश्यक भी है तापमान को maintain रखना। हमारे hospital में total area लगभग 17,250 पॉपुलेशन हमारे है एरिया की और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी की काफी कटौती होती है यहां पे हमारे गांव में इसमें हॉस्पिटल में भी काफी परेशानियों का सामना करना पड़ता था सोलर पैनल लगने के बाद काफी अच्छा हो गया है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी की इतनी दिक्कत नहीं आती हमको पहले लगाने से पहले लाइट कटती थी यहां पे दो तीन घंटा कट जाती थी कभी-कभी जैसे कहीं लाइन फॉल्ट हो जाती थी तो दिन भर भी कट जाती थी तो यहां पे पहले कूलर लगाते थे तो वो लाइट चल जाती थी तो ऐसी सुविधा होती थी मरीजों को और ये लगने के बाद में लाइट का एहसास नहीं होता था कि लाइट गई कि आ रही है जा रही है टेंपरेचर इससे मेंटेन रहता है इसलिए मरीजों को आसानी से गर्मी के दिनों में ठंड महसूस हो So a lot of the uh, solutions that are market ready are again either heavy on the grid in the sense they require a lot of energy um, or need to be inverter based. What we were looking for is something that was a low energy DC powered um, you know, um, air conditioning system and that would not just be cheaper to sort of implement but also sort of feasible from a um, solution sort of what does it provide right. So you're matching your cooling needs for a much lower cost and you require less energy also consumed for the same purpose. So that was the benchmark that we used. Yanka district sambal pure or Yanka population fifteen to twenty thousand ke under or average salme barasa pandrasa delivery ho jata. जब ये सिस्टम नहीं था तब पहले से बहुत ज्यादा दिक्कत होता था गर्मी के दिन ज्यादा गर्मी होता था और बच्चों को भी दिक्कत होता था रो रहे रोते हैं जब ज्यादा गर्मी होता है तो और लाइन चले जाने से भी अंधेरा रहता था ये सिस्टम लगाने के बाद बहुत ही फायदा हुआ जैसे कि जब लाइन चला जाता था तब भी करंट रहता है और एसी चलता है बच्चे आराम से सोते हैं और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल for us, the intent is to look at how cooling solutions, especially in a context like India where temperatures are only going to soar, um, how are they going to be in, inputted into policy level, right? Because uh, one thing that we look at is uh, very ground up, grassroots level, innovation, R&D, uh, solution sort of uh, cataloging and, you know, packaging. Uh, where you're able to then take it to a policymaker or a financier to say that now let's look at a, um, a subsidy coming in for something like this, right? In a lot of the Western sort of context, you have energy efficiency loans, you have cooling loans or heating loans in, in that context. So can that language be brought into our sort of systems where you're able to subsidize not just for individuals, but also for institutions like, you know, in this case with health where you play a larger role of um, lives, livelihoods and income sort of being affected by us not providing for these solutions. 